This cancer is um, like many cancers. We don't know the exact ET the exact cause. Uh, we know a little bit about it, and we know that there are some chromosomal, some genetic changes that develop to get testis cancer, but it doesn't look like we inherit those changes. And there are some issues about whether or not very early in life, even from an embryonal stage, whether one can predispose to the development of testis cancer. Unlike many other cancers where we know there are direct uh, lifestyle um, factors involved, there is no one specific cause for testicular cancer. We know there are a number of risk factors. The most common risk factor is a, a condition called cryptoorchidism, which basically means undescended testicle. When a male baby is born, your testicles will drop down into the scrotum after birth. Many of those men are identified when they're very young and operations are performed to bring the testicle down often quite early on in life. However, their risk still remains above uh, normal men. Uh, and in patients where we are unaware that the testicle has failed to descend, that and the testicle remains within the abdomen, uh, that risk remains extremely high. It's also clear that if there's a family history of testicular cancer, that risk is raised. That's particularly the case if you have a brother with testicular cancer, less so if you have a father with testicular cancer. The reason it affects this age group, again, we don't know enough the, about the details of that, but it's likely that the genetic abnormalities occur, that occur from an embryonal stage, present themselves, take that period of time to present themselves. And if they haven't presented themselves by that time, they're unlikely to subsequently occur. Um, and it's been suggested that possibly changes in maternal diet, so when, when the uh, sort of a fetal stage, if you like, may be important as well. Um, we know that testicular cancer is most common in Western type environments and we are seeing rises in countries as, as they become more westernized and, and possibly start changing their diet. The other thing that we notice is that m it's much more likely that testicular function will be impaired in patients who develop testicular cancer. Um, smaller testicles, those that are not functioning as well, do seem to be at higher risk of getting, of patients getting testicular cancer. But I think all of this needs to be put into um, perspective. The vast majority of patients who develop testicular cancer have no obvious risk factors.